Story 1. Am I the a-hole for calling my sister's husband useless? My 17 female sister, 34 female, called me saying that her work had an emergency and she needed to get their ASAP and needed me to watch her kids because no one else can. I rushed over there just to find her husband locked in his game room playing video games. I asked her why she called me over if he was home, and she said he didn't want to babysit because it was his only day off. Sister left, and I started hanging out with the kids. I was changing the baby's diaper, and the other kids wanted a snack. I told them to go ask their dad to make them a snack since the baby had a blowout and it was going to take me a while to clean him up. Well, their dad sent them back upstairs and told them to ask me again. After cleaning the baby up, I made the kids a snack, and their dad came out to eat and told me not to let the kids interrupt him on his day off. By the way, he works part-time from home six days a week. I kind of snapped at him and told him it was my day off too and that he was a useless effing father and husband if his wife has to rely on her teenage sister rather than her own husband. He started telling me I was disrespectful and didn't understand how hard parenting is, and I told him he clearly doesn't understand how hard it is either since he considers parenting his own children babysitting. He ended up kicking me out, and apparently my sister was forced to come home because he told her she needed to figure it out since I'm her sister. I feel like I may be an a-hole because my sister is mad at me, her husband is mad at me, my mom is mad at me for causing drama, but my dad thinks it's funny and agrees with me. I definitely didn't need to call him names, but I just hate this guy so much. We've argued about things in the past as well, so we already don't have a great relationship. My sister is saying I need to apologize to him, and he is threatening to never let me into the kids' lives if I keep disrespecting him. Edit. Well, I was not expecting this response at all. Thank you guys for all your comments, and to the people who messaged me D-pics or to kill myself, what? Why? LOL, y'all are crazy. For anyone who has asked, no, he does not ca take care of the kids normally. My sister takes them to daycare during the day and then picks them up on her way home. She is the breadwinner and the primary caretaker. Also, I got a few questions of, does she pay you? Uh, not exactly, but she will randomly take me on expensive shopping sprees and will regularly buy things from my Amazon wish list instead, and I have no problem with this arrangement. I really love those kids and don't have an issue babysitting them. I love hanging out with them. I also don't blame my mother for being mad at me just because of the fact that my sister's dumb butt husband texted her and apparently told her a much different version of what happened, lol. He told her I was sitting on my phone the whole time being lazy and the kids kept begging me for a snack. Also, I did not yell at him in front of his kids. It was a private conversation. I might post an update, but nothing has really happened in the past day, so I don't really have much to say. No one has apologized to anyone yet. Well, I mean, first off, you're definitely not the a-hole, and uh, that husband slash father certainly is, because good grief. A, yes, fathers out there, and people who are seeing fathers taking care of their kids, fathers don't babysit, they take care of their kids, because they're their kids, and that's part of what being a father is. And it's my day off from your part-time, six days a week, at-home job, you're one day off, you can't watch the kids, you can't watch the kids and maybe get a little gaming in or something, or just, they, oh my gosh, I mean, the kids aren't even old enough to babysit themselves, you haven't been fathering for long enough for you to feel so dragged down or whatever, that you couldn't spare one day this one week. It's not like you're getting asked every week to totally give up your one day off, you lazy piece of garbage. I don't, I don't even need more context. This person just sounds, they sound frustrating. And for even for her to be like, oh, well, go ask your dad. Like, if maybe he just needed some help because uh, the number of kids or whatever, okay, maybe understandable. But the fact that he's like, no, I'm playing my video games in the basement. Don't you dare that those kids bother me. Like, what? If that's not an adult. That's like a petulant teenager. Oh, that dad, that dad sucks. <laughs> Story two. 
Entitled mom joins our Skype call after we kill her son repeatedly in Minecraft. I was playing on a Minecraft server with five friends at the time. This happened, and this new kid joined our game and our Skype call. He kept breaking our builds and demanding we give him stuff. We originally decided to ban him, but we wanted to have some fun, so we kept killing him. The Skype call was basically six guys laughing and a little kid screaming, calling us hackers. We were talking on Skype when Entitled Mom called. Let my son play on the server, you ungrateful D's! No, we all said at the same time. My husband is a lawyer and he will sue you and I will call the police for harassment. Shut up, lady. Don't you talk to me like that. My son deserves all your items more than all of you combined. F off, woman. You are not allowed to effing swear. Only adults are allowed to use that kind of language. One of us makes a Christian Minecraft server mean, and she gets really peed. How dare you insult my religion! You're going to hell! All right, where do you live? We start making up addresses like 69 Weed Street and 420 F Off Avenue. That's it, I'm leaving! About time. She left and blocked us. Me and my friends and I still joke about that incident. Me and my friends and I! Wow, that's a lot of people still joking about that incident. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like older kids or teenagers picking on a littler kid who sounds like he needed, like, sounds like he was being a jerk and maybe needed some manners of his own. And that mom, maybe instead of yelling at that kid, should be better monitoring what her child is doing online and should be better teaching him manners. And so I guess the real failure here was on the mom's part, but... Also, uh, if I was a teenager, that story would make me chuckle, so sure, even if I, even if that did mean that I was going to hell. Story 3. Incest is inevitable. Do not resist. Hmm. A bit of background. This happened a little while ago. Due to the Rona, I've had lots of time for nostalgia. Around June or July 2019. My mother's side of the family is large, close, dramatic, and oftentimes unpleasant. There are maybe five people I unequivocally like, excepting my immediate family and my cousins, meaning I don't like my uncle's grandfather and one aunt. We all get on well enough, but my cousin R and I have been very close our whole lives. She's a few months older than me, so she was 19 when this happened. I was 18. It's also important that she's a woman and I'm a dude. During the summer and winter breaks, our family will congregate around our grandparents' house, sometimes for weeks. People leave their kids. Come on, we all live less than an hour away at a time. My mom, brothers, stepfather, and I used to live there. It's been a long day and we were deciding where to sleep. My brother and ours siblings, plus our cousins from our other aunt and uncle, were talking about sleeping outside. R and I, deciding we would like to sleep in real beds, went inside and claimed my younger brother's old bedroom, which has two twin beds on opposite sides of the room. We watched the entirety of Chicago with our grandma, told her what room we'd be in, and went to bed, her in the bed closer to the door. We showed each other some crappy memes, talked about boys, and then we turned the lamps out. I laid in bed watching the bats outside. R stared at her phone. About 15 minutes later, the door opened up. It was one of our other cousins, Z, 16 female, and our oldest aunt, L, 45 female if you care. They saw R there, and Z asked R if she could share the room with her. R, I mean, no, L, why can't she? R, because Kerman Zimmerschmerz is in the other bed. Then my aunt flipped on the light like people weren't trying to sleep, flung the door open, and glared at me. Z, oh, that's kind of inappropriate. L. R and I shared a look. She's one of four people in the family who knows I'm gay. Z and L are not. Me. This isn't Alabama, auntie. We're just sleeping in the same room. Z. But it could give our other cousin cousins ideas. R. What? L. Look, mister, either go sleep outside or sleep downstairs. I don't care what you two say or think. Mixed gender sleeping at your age is inappropriate. Me. Well, our age is adult, auntie, and it isn't your house, and it doesn't really matter what you think because I'm not getting out of this bed. You're welcome to try and move me. L. Stop being a disrespectful punk and move, Kruthlitherbrzingsingerbrink. End of discussion. Me. You're right, it is. I'm not moving unless grandma says so, and since she knows I'm sleeping here, I bet she won't. Leave me alone. R. 
Seriously, Auntie, this is ridiculous. L. Young lady, I suggest you quiet down too before you have to move too. Z. Come on, Kruthurbism Sigabrink. Don't be a jerk. Just move rooms. F, our other cousin, is down in the basement. Me. This is the dumbest crap I've ever had to put up with. Shut up and leave me alone. Then my aunt started chewing me out hardcore, and we wound up having a nice 3 a.m. shouting match over whether or not I could sleep in a bed I was already in. We're both theater people, and I'm a little deaf, so in the midst of it, we woke up my grandma, Elle's mom, and another aunt, R's mom, who came to check it out. Grandma. What's all the yelling? L. Mr. Entitled here won't leave the bedroom and let my daughter sleep there. It's so wildly inappropriate. Grandma. R. Kurthurbisrsrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
The owner isn't an entitled granny, but it turns out the owner is entitled granny's daughter. Me. Hello, is this entitled granny's daughter? Entitled granny daughter. Yes, who is this? Me. Yeah, I'm me from County Animal Shelter. Are you missing a small elderly poodle? EGD. No, no, I got a poodle for my mother entitled granny as a present back in 2016. Uh, did it get lost? Me. No, your mother brought it in and told us it was a stray she found. She falsified information on a government form and abandoned her animal. These are pretty serious issues. She needs to come get her dog now. EGD, I understand, and I'll call her and make sure she comes and gets her dog back. About a half hour goes by and my desk phone goes off. It's Entitled Granny's Daughter's number. I think, okay, this is them telling me they're coming back. Nope. Me. A county animal shelter, this is me speaking. Entitled Granny's Daughter sounds very frustrated. Yes, this is EGD calling back. Entitled Granny isn't coming back for the dog. She says she doesn't want it anymore because she thinks it's old and ugly. She demanded I get her a teacup chihuahua instead. Me. Well, that's between you and her, but either you and her need to come get this dog, or it's an actual crime to surrender your animal to a shelter in a county you don't live in, let alone the animal abandonment charges and putting down false information on a government form. EGD. I understand, but I work in another country and can't make it in in time to get the dog. Me. Then your mother needs to be an adult and come get her dog. She's got till the end of the day, otherwise we will be filing a police report. EGD. Well, she's old. She shouldn't have to deal with this kind of stress. Me. She should have considered that before she lied to us and abandoned her animal. Have you ever seen this dog? It's, it's skin and bones. You are aware that animal cruelty is a felony in this state, right? EGD. Fine, I'll come get her damn dog. Me. We close at posted hours. She hangs up. I go to lunch. I doubt I'll see her or the mother, but I'm true to my word. If they don't get here by the end of the day, they're going to be dealing with the police instead of us. Edit. Quick update. With three minutes left to go till we close and no EGD or EG in sight, this will now become a police matter. I gave myself plenty of time to get here. Now they can deal with felony charges. Edit 2. No word from EGD or EG either. I doubt they'll show up again at this point. The poodle is doing great though. She's getting the food and medication she needs and already seems more energetic. The plus side is in shelters, the smaller dogs always tend to get adopted first, so once she is medically cleared for adoption, she will most likely get a home that day. Edit 3. Okay, so this should be the conclusion here. The poodle was placed with a senior dog rescue that already has a foster lined up. The puppet has been medically cleared, so they are going to be just fine. As for entitled granny, the police make contact. She, she committed the crime in this county, therefore she is having charges placed against her in this county. As for when the court date is or any further information in the case, I won't be included in that as it's now between entitled granny and the county. I do know that it is not going to go well for Entitled Granny. I certainly hope that they do not go well for Entitled Grandma, because it sounds like she mistreated this poor dog, wasn't feeding it right, and just generally not taking great care of it, and then, yeah, did all this other stuff. Not cool, Entitled Granny. Not cool at all. Don't like hearing about animal abuse, and then you just being like, I want, I want a different model now. I want a different one. Like, I'm sorry. This Granny sounds... Kind of like a piece of junk, which I hate saying. I typically, I don't know, once people are like called grannies when they're older like that, I have a real soft spot. I always think of my grandma. She's gone, but she was the world to me. The light, just a beacon of light in a world of garbage. And I don't like to think about bad grannies, but this is a bad granny. Don't mistreat your dogs. Treat them right. And ugh, just... This just makes me sad. Be, take care of your pets. If you got pets, go give them a nice hug for me, please, okay? Bye. Please leave your story in the comments. I would love to make a video on them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.